How to use the standard remote control for your Gasco fire or stove. The standard remote control can be used to operate a range of functions on your fire. This video will show you how to access these functions and should be watched and used in conjunction with the full installation and user manual, which you can download from the technical area of the Gasco website. Your remote control has been factory set to communicate with your fire only. Therefore, your fire will not respond to any other remote control, even one that is for an identical model. If you need to replace your remote control at any time, you will need to pair your new handset with your fire. To do this, please refer to the manual. Using your remote control To begin, this video will show you how to operate the functions of your fire via the remote control. These functions can also be achieved using the touchpad and we will show you how to use this at the end of the video. Your remote control needs two high quality 1.5 voltage alkaline batteries to operate. Rechargeable batteries are not suitable. There are four buttons on your remote control. An on off button, two arrow buttons and an OK button. There is also an LED which will continue to flash approximately every 4 seconds to indicate that it is communicating with your fire. To switch your fire on, press the on-off button followed by the OK button. You will hear a single beep. Your fire will light on high but this could take up to 20 seconds to complete. During this time the LED will stop flashing. Please note that it will take up to 45 minutes for the flames of your fire to reach their optimum visual effect. If the pilot fails to ignite, switch your fire off, then wait 30 seconds before trying to ignite it again. Your fire has three flame height settings, low, medium and high. By pressing the down arrow button, the flames will decrease one setting at a time. By pressing the up arrow button, the flame height will increase one setting at a time. You can also switch your fire to standby mode by pressing the down arrow button once from the low setting. Please note that when you press the up arrow button while your fire is on standby, the flames will automatically increase to the highest setting. It is important to ensure that if your fire goes out while you're using it, you should press the on off button and then wait three minutes before attempting to relight it. To switch your fire off, press the on-off button at any stage. How to use the touchpad for your Gasco fire You will find the touchpad at the base of your fire. To access this, you may need to refer to your installation and user manual, as there are different methods depending on your fire or frame choice. Every time you give a command, you will hear a beep accompanied by a flash of the LED on the touchpad to confirm it has been received. When your command has been completed, the appliance will emit a further beep and flash of the LED. To turn on your fire, press the on-off button. The pilots will light and the flames will increase to the highest setting. This could take up to 20 seconds to complete. If the pilot fails to ignite, Switch your fire off, then wait 30 seconds before trying to ignite again. To decrease the flame height, press the left arrow button. To increase it, press the right arrow button. As before, if you press the right arrow button while your flame is in standby mode, the flame will automatically increase to the highest setting. You can turn your fire off at any stage by pressing the on-off button. You can now operate all the functions of your fire using either your remote control or the touchpad.